Galliari, my grandfather, made the first project of a single vineyard near Rodavola. In fact, that was the first Sicilian wine that I really admired. And I remember being very impressed by him uh, when I met him. They took away 700 years of his life, you know. That's why he died a uh, year after. Within the wine world, I think it's really Etna that's propelled Sicily to the forefront of the wine trend hunter's um, vocabulary. The Nerello Mascalese combination in Etna is crazy. I think the Nero d'Avola is the real Sicilian wine. It's something that I love in wines in general is the geography of wines. It's really nice when you make blind tasting of wine and the wine can tell you exactly where he come from. I remember going there for the first time. It was a desert going up, and suddenly you got to this oasis. Before I was 21, I didn't like wine. Every Christmas when we have to toast, I was under the table because I had alcohol at all. Sicily has to work harder and make more noise to be noticed. Making a super, a super wine, it's very difficult, you know? And you have to be lucky too. Thank you.